Hey guys, how's it going? This is RJ coming to you guys because I wanted to show you guys exactly how we are going to be trading the EOD end of day and the Forex trading strategy uh, using this system here with just uh, the arrows, uh, the L trend, and um, basically the hold numbers for strike opportunity. Okay. Uh, we'll be only trading the U.S. session, and that's in between this blue dotted line and this blue dotted line is where the U.S. session, uh, the best times to take a look at the either the high or the low for the U.S. session. Okay, and also um, with the L trend here as well, uh, we'll also uh, be getting we won't be getting alerts on this. The only alert you'll get is with the VTEX reversal arrows. Those are not going to be trading arrows. You don't trade these arrows. All you would do is you would trade the whole numbers based on where the arrow direction is telling you. Okay, like this day here, you the previous day you already got an arrow telling you that you need to be looking for cells. So what happens here is you can take a cell here. The whole number right here will give you an alert to take a cell. You take a cell there, uh, and it doesn't go up to this whole number quite. But if it does reach up to that whole number, if it does reach up to that whole number here, you could take another strike for the cell for end of day. All right. So roughly what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the Forex trade first for the cell here. OK, and you'll set a 50 pip stop loss. OK, based on this system here, the pip size, uh, the whole numbers are 25 pips apart. See that 25 pips apart. 250 points apart. So between this point and this point is 25 pips or 250 points. Okay, so just because it goes negative this way does not mean that it's going to stop you out. You're looking for a 50 pip stop loss because chances are when it's above this black line and you're looking for a sell opportunity, you're looking for it high here or high there. Okay. Both of them by the end of the day, which is the which is displayed by these red lines. This is the eight o'clock end of day, which is roughly around uh, it'll say twenty hundred hours on the uh, on MetaTrader on your uh, I'm sorry on your broker, and also this is roughly around four o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you got a four o'clock, a five o'clock, which is twenty one hundred. Then you have a. Um, uh, another one right here, not the, not the 22, but the 23 and 2330, which is roughly about 7, 730, just when the Asian session starts. So your times are when it says 20 hundred as the end of day, it's going to be 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where, the, where it will end. If you have 2100 for the end of day, then it will be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where that end of day will end. If you have 12, 2330 or 2300, then here it is right here at 7 o'clock and 730 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the end of day for that particular trade will end. OK, so all we're doing is we're taking the direction of the arrows telling you I roughly got three on this custom indicator. I have about uh, one, two, three, I think four settings. So it's at 18. Negative 18 It's at. 8, negative 8, 6, negative 6, and 12, negative 12. So these are showing me the higher points of the market. So what I'm doing is every day I'm taking, looking for a sell setup. I'm looking for the high end of day here on the U.S. session every single day. Every single day. There it is right there. You'll get that high there. I'll call off the trade to tell you to take a sell end of day and sell Forex for 25 pips. Set your stop loss 50 pips back. Guarantee it won't get hit. All right. You take your trade there on the strike for the sell. Take it for 25 pips. There it is. 25 pips in the money. And you also will win the end of day, which ends roughly in this area here for this particular pair. Every day here, you'll get a, you'll get a sell strike right there because you're looking for the high above this black line hitting one of these whole numbers give you an alert so you take a sell right here end of day 
You may take a Forex trade. The Forex trade will still be in even right now as the markets ended. But you would take a sell end of day. It ends right here in the money. So we'll go back a little bit here. We get during the actually during the U.S. session, we get an error here. So this wasn't this wasn't a trade. I probably wouldn't have taken this trade here for the end of day, even though it would have won had I taken it, taken it on the whole number here after this arrow confirms that there's an uptrend. Uh, it it still wins end of day slightly, but it still wins. But I'm not interested in those things here. I'm interested in taking the sell instead here. The sell two days ago prior told you to take only sells. So here you took you didn't take a sell here because guess what? The whole number is below that black line. I needed to get it up here. If there was a whole number up here, I would have been able to take the trade. But no, I didn't get a trade that day on this pair. Here, I got a trade there at the opening of the, of the U.S. session. At, right there, I got a trade for the sell end of day and a 25 pip Forex trade. Stop losses hit back here. 50 pips back. Okay. All right. Some can make it a little bit closer and go 25 pips back, but 50 pips has been working pretty well. OK, so I take the sell here. It drops 25 pips. That's my take profit on the Forex trade. And then it sells here. End of day. Right in this area here is the end of day for the sell. Good job that day. Next day, you're looking for a buy. End of day. So you're looking forward to be below this thick black line during the U.S. session. You don't get it. You start getting sell signals here. You don't even get the sell signals because nothing hits this line above that black line. So I wouldn't have taken a trade on this pair that day. Okay, let's pull back just a little bit more. Okay, here we get buy signals during the U.S. session. All right, we get buy signals, but I would have been looking for the sell. Seeing as though this doesn't come until this candle starts. Okay, it would literally have to reach right back down here in order for you to take a, a buy trade. So I would still be looking for the sell for the end of day. And it comes right here on this whole number. Right there on that whole number, it hits it. You take a 4x trade for the sell. You take a 50, 25 or 50 pips stop loss. You take 25 pips off it. There it is. End of day trade there wins. Okay, next day here, you're taking uptrend trades. You're looking for an uptrend opportunity. Okay, nothing presents itself during the U.S. session. No whole numbers were hit below this line. So they would say, you know, probably would say that this was a good trade here to take for the uptrend, but I don't, I like to get the retracement. Okay, so what happens here is you don't get anything that day. Not unless you came in. Yeah, you don't get anything that day. I'm sorry. No end of day for that day because you want to get if you don't get the prime position, then you don't want any position. OK, here's an example of of it hitting. Let's say right here you say end of day. Here is an example of the one one time it actually hits a 50 pip stop loss here. That's if you took it there. All right. So what you can do is if it hits a 50 pip stop loss, which is rare. But if should it hit a 50 pip stop loss, take the loss, come right back in on a trade for the sell. You're already in the end of day right here for the end of day. And guess what? It's still end of day still wins. So end of day is going to be the safest trade. Of course, Forex is great, too. Um, just for 25 pips, you know, 25 pips, sometimes 50, but more so I just get 25 pips off each trade and keep it moving. OK, you do 25 pips each day at a low lot size and you continue to grow that lot size every day you you're getting more than one trade 25 pips I have several currency pairs up here that I trade this exact same system with for end of day and for Forex so I grab 25 pips on each trade that I that I receive for that day just during a US session okay that's uh, here you would take a uh, you would take a sell here for end of day and Forex set a 50 pip stop loss that stop loss gets hit you come right back on a trade because it's very rare very rare 
that it will reach 50 pips above this black, this thick black line, which is the L trend. Very rare that it will that will it will reach 50 pips above that, and it does here. Just so happens. So, with that, what you do is you take the end of day here, and you take your forex here for 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 20 uh, for 25 pips, and on that same candle, it goes and hits your stop loss here, 50 pips back. You come right back in on that end of uh, not the end of day, but on the forex trade, and you make you make your income. You can take 20. You can take 50, then you can take 50 pips because you came in high and chances are it's not going to go another 50 pips back here. It's just not going to do it. The market won't move uh, 200 pips in a single day. It just won't. Okay. So you take, you come right back in on the cell right there um, for the Forex. You make your 20, uh, you make your 20, uh, you make your $50 or whatever, whatever money you may have lost on that trade. You make that back when it hits this point here. Okay, and then you still let it go for that 25 pips. There it is. So you gain your 50 pips back. Then you still gain your 25 pips to be in profit for that day. So if by chance it happens to go up 50 pips or go against you 50 pips, hit your stop loss, come right back in on a trade for the sell because the chances are it's just not going to go another 25 or 50 pips negative. It's just not going to do it. So take your sell there again. Set your take profit in the same spot you had it the first time because you want to make what you lost here, 25, 50 pips. Then you want to make your 25 pips for the day. Okay, that's it. And um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all guys soon. Bye bye.